We return back on the 76th day of the hearing to deal with summonses that were adjourned to today, the 14th. Without further ado, uh, counsel, take us through this morning. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Commissioner. Morning. Just uh, five matters uh, on today's list, Commissioner. Essentially, uh, summons matters. Uh, we are intend to uh, discharge a number of them, Commissioner. Um, so perhaps uh, I could uh, invite my friend, Mr. Uh, Veritemos, to enter his appearance, and then I'll hand it over to Mr. Keeper to deal with those summons that he has carried off to have them discharged formally. Thank you. If the Commission pleases, Veritemos is my name, initial MM. I appear with my learned friends, Mr. D. Wood, and Mr. Al Avori, E V O R E, for Curtin Brothers Holdings NG Limited and Ballymore Number 39 Limited, if the Commission pleases. Thank you. Please, the Commission, Commissioner, if I may refer to uh, today's daily diary, agenda item number one, uh, which is uh, summons number eight, issued to Mr. Daniel. Rob Guerra as the state solicitor. <coughs> Commissioner, if that uh, summons could be uh, discharged. The council, in consideration to that, appeared on agenda item number one. Um, summons number eight. I now give direction that this summons now will be discharged. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. I move on to item number three on the list. That's uh, summons number 3030, issued to uh, Mr. Diary Valet. Yes. Yes, Commissioner, I also seek direction that uh, summons number 30 be discharged as well. I agree to that, uh, Council. And similarly, uh, item number three. Uh, in relation to summons number 30 is now discharged. Thank you, Commissioner. That's the direction. Are, thank you, Commissioner. Those are my matters. If I could hand it over to Mr. Guerrero to deal with the balance of the matters. Thank you. So, Commissioner, just turning back to uh, the three summonses that essentially uh, we propose to extend. Firstly, the reason for that is we have uh, this morning sent a uh, letter to Ashurst PNG lawyers who act for Curtin Brothers Holdings NG Limited and Ballymore Number no. 39 Limited. Commissioner, you'll recall we gave uh, two undertakings on the 10th of March. One of the undertakings, particularly the first undertaking, required particulars to be given by noon today, Commissioner. And we had uh, provided that, those particulars uh, to my friends. Now, for that reason, my friends have indicated from a teleconversation this morning that they intend to, uh, well, they, they need time to consider the response of the, of the particulars provided by council assisting, and then be in a position to con consider whether or not they indeed need to cross-examine or otherwise uh, examine the uh, witnesses that uh, remain, in particular, um, Mr. Gabriel Michael, summons number 19, which appears as uh, item number two. So, Commissioner, for those reasons, we propose to extend the summonses to, to another date. Uh, my, friend, my friend's clients um, uh, did uh, have the, the time for the submissions to be made uh, by this this Thursday, the 16th Commissioner, as you will recall from previous directions, um, we've agreed to extend that time for those submissions to be made um, next week, Friday, Commissioner. That should be the 24th of, of March, Commissioner. And it's for that reason we're extending those summonses to, to that particular date. So if I can just formally call those summonses, uh, Commissioner, and have them uh, extended accordingly. Uh, oh, sorry, Mr. Council Assistant. Sorry for Council Assistant yes, to interrupt. Yes. 
Um, I'll allow my friend um, to address the Commission. All right. Tentatively, we've agreed to the 24th of March for the submissions. We'll be writing to Council Assisting, as indicated to him, asking for some clarification about the letter received this morning. Um, but given, given the roadmap, we would suggest that those summonses be adjourned to Monday to give us time to reflect. And then if there's examination required, that, that can occur on Monday or um, soon thereafter to allow um, any evidence to be captured in any submissions on the 24th of March. So I'm just suggesting to Council assisting that perhaps those summonses could be adjourned to Monday um, um, so, so that we can stick to the submissions potentially on the 24th. Council, I can hear from yes. here. So, Commissioner, I'll just summarise from what I heard yes. in the interest of time. What my friend has indicated that um, he's asked that the summonses be made returnable to the 20th of March. And we have no problems with that, Commissioner. 20th of Which March. is next week, Monday, Commissioner. Monday. Yeah. Okay. That will then uh, confirm whether or not uh, the, whether his clients intend to uh, cross-examine or otherwise deal with the summonses further. Yeah. And then they should then be able to, in a position by the 20th, to confirm whether or not 24th of uh, March is when they will then provide their um, submissions, Commissioner. So that's what my friend has indicated, and we have no uh, problems with that. Okay, uh, that's the, the direction is that uh, it will be adjourned to the 28th, which is next Monday. Uh, that's the direction that I'm giving for the adjournment. Yes, Commissioner. So if that could also apply to item number four, that summons number 37 issued to Mr. McGann, and also summons number five, sorry, rather, item number five, summons number 42 issued to Mr. Romilly Killapat. Yes, uh, those uh, two summons uh, that appear on item number four and five, that's... Uh, return of summons number 37 and 42 we will also be adjourned to Monday, which is the 28th of March, 2023. Thank you, Council. Yes. And I think just for completeness as well, uh, there were also a number of um, documents, apparently not on the flash drive that I w was furnished to my friends re relating to the PNG ports documents. They've made a request as of yesterday. And I have in indicated to them that should be pro produced to them by close of business today, Commissioner. So Thank I just you. mentioned that mentioned that for the record. Thank you, Council. Unless there's any further matters, Commissioner, um, um, I don't think there'll be a hearing on, on Thursday. Just just to state for the record, uh, the matters will now uh, the next hearing will now return on the on the 20th of uh, March, 2023 at 10 a.m. Otherwise, um, I'll allow my friend to address the Commission. Thank Commissioner. you, uh, Council uh, Wood. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Um, also, with, in our conversation with our friends this morning, uh, it was agreed that there is one other outstanding summons, Mr Commissioner, which is the summons addressed to Steve Tessa, T-E-S-A-R, of P&G Ports. It was also agreed in our conversation with Council this morning that that summons should be um, discharged, if my friend Mr Gorora could also confirm that. I, I believe uh, that summons was discharged sometimes back. But I will have to confirm that. Yeah, it was discharged on the 28th of April as confirmed by 28th of February as confirmed by the Associate. Thank you, Commissioner. It was discharged. Thank you for the clarification. Yes. Um, Mr. Commissioner, if you could hear me, um, if I could just clarify, as I understand it, Mr. Michael's um, summons has been adjourned to the 20th of March. Sorry, sorry 20, 20th of March or so. Is that correct, Council Assisting? Could I just clarify that? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yes. So, item number two, summons number 19, in respect of the summons issued to Gabriel Michael, also adjourned and extended to the 20th of March at 10 a.m. Commissioner. Yes. Thank you. And, and, and if I could just clarify something and assist the Commission. So we've had discussions with Mr Guerrero and Mr Kipper. So tentatively what's proposed is that we will make submissions on the 24th of March. Council assisting will make submissions the week later on that Friday the 31st of March. And then we'll make submissions in reply 
seven days after that. Um, but if council persisting could confirm that tentative timetable just to assist the, you, Mr. Commissioner, with your diary. Council? Uh, yes, Commissioner, that's, that's the tentative uh, timetable. Yes. And obviously we'll be in a better position to confirm that by the 20th of March when we next return. That's the uh, yeah, confirmation. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Council Assisting. Thank you. Commission, please, uh, no further matters if the uh, hearings could be adjourned accordingly. Thank you uh, for your attendance this morning. Uh, we are closing down on the spare or roadmap. Uh, we'll come to the stage where the final submissions will have to come in. And uh, we're on target, and just to make sure that all those loose hands uh, uh, tidy up, so that we can uh, progress to that. So we don't have any other matters to deal with this morning, uh, but until we return back on the 20th, is that right, uh, Council? 20th. Yes, Commissioner. 20th, 20th which is March. Monday, Monday week. At 10 a.m. Uh, at 10 a.m. for the hearing. Associate, you can now adjourn all the, uh, the summons to the 28th of March 2023 at 10 a.m. Thank you.